Good morning. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I am feeling utter peace right now. I'm in Lake Minnewaskin with friends from church and we're just exploring the area. Just going on a walk. Just be careful because the wind is blowing on me. And that's quite a drop right there. It's actually quite a drop. Of course, I'm off on the ledge a little ways. But my legs are a little bit shaky. I am not a climber. I can't imagine that people climb. This is insanity. What blows my mind is that is the mountaintop broken off bring out a better version. with time. Let me lean back a second here so I can swing around. The face of the mountain up there with time has broken into chunks and fallen down. It's pretty amazing to see. I wonder how deep that water is there. I'm sure there's rocks down there and I don't see anything. But you can see over there some broken jumbles of rocks broken off through the centuries. Look at how it breaks in straight pieces. It makes it very easy climbing actually. This is the climber's mecca here actually. This is the Shawangunk mountain range, and specifically the Minnewaska Preserve. And uh, I'm going to do some video today and just have peace and enjoy the beauty. So here's another shot of these, these rocks, how they've fallen. And you can actually walk down and around and jump over from ledge to ledge. People do it all the time here. And then there's where it came off. You can tell it's, oh, there's a big bonsai tree. Look at that right there. Looks just like a bonsai. That's cool. All the bushes and things have grown up here through the years, but what's quite impressive, look at the rocks, how they've jumbled and fallen. Look at that hole. I'm right on the edge here. Look at that hole. And that forms a neat little climber's uh, Alley. I'm sure the climbers really have a good time out here. Just going through there. The more adventurous types. I won't be doing that. Forgive me. That goes down, down, down. Deep down. And this is... As I said, this is Climber's Mecca. It's beautiful up here, and this is just the beginning of the walk. You know, the plants hang on for life. Here's an example of the damage that worms can do. This is a tree in full late spring. There's a tree in comparison with leaves on it. It hasn't been touched. Look at these. The number of caterpillars eating on this tree. The babies, look at the tiny little babies. Wait, where is it here? Um, they're just, it's hard to focus on this. But this tree is completely devoured. Absolutely devoured. There's nothing left. Look at the, uh, stems is all that's left of the leaves. They've destroyed this tree. It's not going to live. There's no way it can live. The infestation this year, and this is what I have at home, but here is worse. The infestation this year is just absolutely devastating. It's just, there's nothing left. That tree Right there, stripped to nothing. 
That one is soon to follow. Just devastating. Nothing left of that tree. Look at that. 